Welcome to day 17 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're gonna build that AirPods 3 intro animation on Webflow. We're gonna animate this using the GSAP library and I'm gonna walk you through the methodology of how I did this. This is the original version of the Apple website. So we're gonna go through this. We're gonna see how I built it. I'm gonna share with you the custom code that I made and I'm gonna share with you the clonable of this website down in the link below. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned on this 100 days of Fofla journey. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so let's get building. So basically we're building this animation here, this intro animation, uh, similar to the AirPod section. And uh, I have this project starter from another Apple copy that I made, so you can check it out in my clonables but uh, I'm just gonna use it to start off the project. Now we're gonna build this quickly because the main idea is the animation, not the build. So let's start. Uh, we have the main wrapper. I'm just gonna add a section. I'm gonna call the section, section header. And then I will add a div block inside it. Uh, wait, section header to be Horizontal, uh, this is already set up. Align top, middle, and then inside it will be header component. Header component. Inside it will be header component. So header component is where we're gonna put the headers. So we're gonna have a div block called banner titles and banner titles will have heading wrap, heading wrap. So this is where the two headers will be. We'll get that first header, AirPods, and I'll call this AirPods heading, he AirPods, heading so this is uh, sized 10 rem and height one and uh, this is just a normal text so basically we have the text wrapper and inside this text wrapper we'll, we'll add another text text block let's just call this text size regular text size yeah text size regular and here we'll add that that sentence here and we'll just paste it in here I'll just make sure that's not bold all right uh, next is uh, ding we'll need to add the images so to do that we'll need to go back to header components close banner titles we'll go back to other components we'll put another section and we'll call this section header images header image wrapper and then inside header image wrapper there will be two images so this will be airpods right bottom so I'm just, I just call it airpods rebo and this will be this one which is the right one and then we'll have another picture which will be airpods leto which is the left one and then we'll change the picture to the left one. Uh, you can play around with this, like this is sized, uh, positioned absolute and then positioned this way, so maybe we can play around, but this will depend on your screen size. My screen size is super big, so I'm, I'm using this, these sizes, but you can adjust depending on your build. If you're building an REM, if you're building view height, that's up to you. This is totally customizable. And then we finally need one more thing, which is that thank you section. So we'll add another section and this will be section final. And then inside section final, there will be a heading, which will say thank you. So let's just hide this for now. This will say thank you. And we'll call this just thank you for now. All right, so this is it. Let's bring back that section. 
So this section, section header is thick, is relative position, but it's 300 view height. So this will give us that scroll, place to scroll. So if it's 300 view height, we're gonna scroll for three times the page height. And uh, the header uh, and the banner titles are absolute inside this element. The heading, header component, which has all the element, is fixed so that when I scroll for 300 view height, this all uh, components here in front of me are fixed. So this is how we're gonna do the animation. Now, we're gonna build the animation. Now I left the code for you under the link so you can check it out. So this is the code. I, I left you the, the a copy of this page so you can copy it. So basically, first thing, we need to call the library and the, we need to call the scroll trigger. So I showed you this on the previous video. So here, here is where you call the scroll trigger and you go to find it on CDN. So we paste that here in the end of before end of body tag. Let's close these. And then we need to call the scroll trigger function. So we use that. So that's the second part. Paste it, we didn't copy it. Copy. And go here, paste it. And then we start our animation. Now first we animate the title. Now I wrote these codes, I iterated, and I'm gonna show you how you can iterate more on it if you want. So animating the AirPods heading title. So basically we're we're grabbing the heading wrap, so the, the section that holds both the title and the subtitle, and we're telling it that it should start from the top. So the animation for this is triggered by the movement of the section header, so this big 300 view height section, and then it starts when this, when this section is at the top of the top, so when it's here, it's at the top, and it ends when it's 100% at the bottom, so when it's at the end of the page. Uh, scrub is basically that delay and how how much the mouse follows you. So if you scroll really fast, you have that smoothness of like the mouse is following, the animation is following along, but it's not just like super fast. It's like it gives it that, it gives it its time. You can play around with this 0.5, 1, and that's up to you depending on the animation you need. And then uh, we go to 2. So 2 is where what's going to happen. So the beginning is, if we didn't specify a beginning, we didn't specify a from, that means it's gonna start from the beginning, from scratch, from how it is originally on the page. And then it's gonna go to two. And two, I'm telling it, so the heading wrap will scale to 1.3, so it just scales 1.3 times. And then the duration of this will be uh, 0 0.9. And then two heading wrap as well will go from there and until it reaches the end, it will be at zero opacity and that duration will be much slower because I want it to instantly go out, you know, not fading out throughout the way. So this is animating the title. Now, if we save this, no, we need to close the script. So make sure you have an open script and a closed script part. So. This ensures that your script is read. And uh, if we check now, just for this part, so you see only this part is animating since we called it to animate. And you see that delay is happening. So now we're good. We continue. Now the second part is to animate the, let's go back to the Notion page. So then let's, let's animate the right AirPod. So we copied this code. And then we continue. So this code, AirPods right bottom. So this gets out of the bottom right corner. It scales to 2.5 and it's gonna move 200% on the X axis and 120% on the Y axis. So this gives it that, you know, that right and down animation. Uh, the trigger is the same as the section trigger, the section header, the section that we're talking about, and it will start at the top and the, the bottom. This is similar to the previous one. And that's animating the right AirPods. Let's check that out. I like to always test. Okay, so the right AirPod is going out like we want. 
let's continue okay so now we animate left airpod we copy this code we go to the animation we go to the custom section i mean paste it this is basically the same thing but uh on the other side no this is not it why is it not copying right so make sure that you're targeting the right classes so this is targeting airpod left top so leto so make sure you have that correct when you copy paste especially so now we're done with the right and left airpods very similar animation this the left one it has a minus so you just make sure to remember that because we wanted to leave it the other side so it's just m the same the same uh, movement but from the other side and the, to the top next is uh, we need to animate the subheading fade out so i saw in the website of apple so here when you scroll out the subheading is fading out before airpods so this this has a separate animation so i made one for that and that's basically saying text size regular uh, in the section header it will this animation will start at 80 and it will end in 100 and let's add a scrub of 0 0.8 let's say and yeah so that's it so here i'm using the two uh call call so i'm using jsap2 so i'm just like telling it from your position where you are now you need to go to opacity zero on section header when it, and start that animation on 80% from the bottom and at 100% and scrub 0 0.8. This is for, for the sake of uh, making it smoother. And then we need to go next to the animate fade out pro. So if you see, um, there was this, like it's not, it's still staying on the side of the page. So we'll, it's best if we fade this out when we get to this section. So this is what I'm doing here with this animation. So the right and the left one, they go to opacity zero in the section header, 90% and end at 100% scrub one. So the start of the fade out starts at 90% of the section. So when I'm almost done, it's already scaled. That's when it starts to fade out. I don't want it to fade out during the the animation because that's not the animation i just wanted to get out of the screen and then it disappears because i just don't want it there uh, interacting with the other sections and then the final section which is that uh, basically that we don't have it anymore but like this section is to is a is a border section and i just wanted to scale out to full size screen and i've seen this animation maybe we can work more on this animation later on and different section because it's a very common animation but for now we're just going to use a simple scaling so from to section final uh, we'll need to scale it from 0 0.8 opacity 0 to 1.2 opacity 1 and the trigger will be section final from the top bottom starts when the section final enters the viewport so this this means that it's starting to enter and then ends at 30 center or we can say like 100 bottom center as well this is up to you you can play around with these and and see what uh, what's best to do in, in situations that fits your case so let's publish and see how this is gonna turn out so let's start from here now you see like my screen size is so, so big sometimes it's distorting if we change the screen size to this maybe here it's, it's similar to the airpods one but that's just fine tuning and adjusting now you see like it animates as we want it to be the subheading is going and then the final heading is going this section is coming from from a smaller section and it's growing bigger and it's just ending there so very smooth animation Please note that uh, this project is not sponsored or have anything to do with Apple. This is a personal project for learning purposes. Uh, I put the disclaimer here. And um, if you copy this project, please keep that in mind. Otherwise, that's basically how you animate the AirPods on Webflow with GSAP. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. 
GSAP is an amazing library. I'm gonna be using it more and more throughout this 100 days journey. I'm gonna try to animate more with it because it's giving me very nice smooth animations. Uh, it's opening up the limitations we have on Webflow. So if you built something nice with GSAP, I would love to see it. Please share with us and uh, we can probably learn, definitely we'll learn from each other. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, drop me a comment if you have any, and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. See you tomorrow.